Hey, this is Mike. I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm visiting East Coast Honda, and I'm just taking a very quick look at a 2025 Honda CRV all-wheel drive in the LX trim. This is the base model. Other than it being all-wheel drive, it's the base model vehicle. Uh, so I just want to show you a few things. So it has the full LEDs here in the front, adaptive cru cruise control with the radar sensor behind that badge right there. But you can see there's no... Um, we don't have any parking sensors, we don't have any fog lights or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, still very functional though. In this trim we have steel wheels, uh, 17 inch steel wheels with the wheel covers. And th this is the gray color, so some of the features kind of blend in. You have the, uh, the, the, the cladding around the wheels and at the base of the doors as well, but it does have the body colored handles and upper portion of the side mirror as well. Now it has a combination of LED and standard bulbs here for the tail lights. Uh, the exhaust is hidden and there's no parking sensors back here either. There is a wiper. Uh, the backup camera is offset, which all of them are like that. It doesn't have the power lift gate, so you just release it and lift it up. Uh, the cargo area is nice uh, because it has, uh, has two lights back here, 12 volt power supply, uh, bag hangers here, little cubbies on each side. And unlike some of the higher trims, this load floor you can raise it or lower it but it has the spare tire and tools the higher trims with has the uh, the hybrid system they put the battery back here so uh there's no um you know the, no ability to put the spare tire in there so this one has the spare tire you can also fold the seats down of course and add to your cargo space i really like the way the back door uh swings out to like a 90 degree angle completely gets out of your way and you have a wide opening already um, but you have cloth seats back here, uh, and the latch system for car seats is easy to get to. And it has an armrest that folds down. You can recline these seats a little bit. Cup holders there. Uh, there's no pockets on the back of the seats here. The floor is completely flat. So that's nice. And then there's a climate control vents back here. The doors go all the way to the bottom of the vehicle, covering up the threshold, keeping it clean. Here's the inside of the door here, uh, pocket here and there at the bottom, soft touch here and here, hard touch at the bottom, pretty standard. Cloth seats, manually adjusted here in the front. But yeah, lots of leg room. And it's one of those vehicles, I think part of the reason why it's so popular is it's very easy to get in and out of the vehicle. It's just, you know, the height is perfect for me anyway. It's just like get in and out without any like, you know, uh, climbing in or, or climbing out or whatever. It's just like a perfect height. Sitting in the driver's seat, checking it out. So it has the, still the plenty, the same leg room as any other CRV, uh, it just has the cloth seats here. Now it does not have a leather wrap steering wheel. And one of the benefits of that is it doesn't have the stitching there on the inside. And um, some people prefer this type of steering wheel. So, um, and I like it too, it's, it's no problem. So. Um, some people just don't like that feel of the stitching on the inside of the steering wheel, so this gives you just a nice smooth feel. Now it has the volume for the radio and different features here, like for the radio, but also the uh, functionality for the screen. We'll get to that in a second. Here on the right side, um, adaptive radar adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist system. So it has some of the features that, that me personally I would have to have, and even in the base model it has it. Automatic headlights as well. So the screen here is um, has some different functionality there on the left side. You can change through and you can change what you want there on the left side. It has a digital speedometer, tachometer, and then the actual real needle speedometer on this side. Now this this is a touch screen. Uh, so it has a physical volume knob, but it's kind of like simplified, right? So it has some physical buttons there in the bottom at, at the same time. Uh, so your phone, radio, media connectivity here. You can connect your phone with a USB port. Um, and then you can uh, go to the menu right here with your different settings. And you can go like this, and or you can go like this and adjust it like that with this knob. So yeah, although there's, you know, there's not like a tremendous amount of stuff, there's a lot of stuff that's just in modern vehicles that a lot of people don't use. So this handles a lot of stuff. Like me personally, I just use Bluetooth audio uh, and that's about it. I don't use any kind of Apple CarPlay or anything, Android Auto. And then down here is the climate control. It's not a dual zone. It just has a temperature here, fan speed, where you want the air to blow. Pretty straightforward, front and rear defrosters. 
There's a USB port, 12 volt power supply. There's no wireless charger here, but it does have like rubberized compartment here to put some stuff. There's the drive modes, which has eco, normal, and snow. And uh, the shifter has a sport mode to low range. Electronic parking brake, brake hold. Um, it has the same backup camera as Honda's had for a while, which I like this view because once you get used to it, you actually see what's behind you both ways when you're backing out of a parking spot. This is more of a linear view, which gives you doesn't give you that that um, that stretched out view. And then this is a top down view. But yeah, this is the one here. Once you get used to this, it's hard to get any other backup camera view anyway. You know, the clarity isn't perfect, but you can see behind the vehicle. There's the cup holders, a little place to put some pins or whatever. And this armrest is soft and has a large compartment here. And I put a piece of paper there so you can see the bottom because it has a, a black felt at the bottom, so it kind of looks like an abyss on camera. But, uh, but yeah, it does have a bottom. There it is. It has a manual day and night mode for the rear view mirror. Interior lights with tap lights. All on, all off, or turn on with the door, and a place to put your shades. Pretty good size in there. It's kind of rubbery in there. It's actually like a, a rubbery, what is that? Like a foam, I guess. And then the headliner is cloth, so is the, the visors here. It has a mirror with no light. This extends out. So yeah, for the base model, it's actually pretty good. I mean, Honda CRV is popular and why not save some money by getting the base model if you don't need the added features you know I, i'm me personally i'm that's the first thing i look at is the base model and if it's missing a feature or if it's something that i can kind of compromise on i would prefer to get the the lower trim than trying to get the the maxed out trim because there's a lot of features i just don't use so I, I pay for a lot of stuff that i don't use so i'd rather just go with the start with the base model and see if it's right for me and usually it is so anyways thank you for watching i'll see you next time